Hey again guys, welcome back. Uh, seemed to like the video I made yesterday, so I thought I would make another one. And maybe more to come if you guys continue enjoying them. So this is day three of this little dungeon I've been working on. Uh, you'll see it's now vividly blue. Uh, thing you probably didn't know about Skyrim, it takes a really long time to get the lighting the way you want. So yeah, this is probably not the way it's going to stay. But for now, it should make for a decent YouTube viewing experience. So I did quite a bit of work on the cave. Still not done, and I still haven't added decorations, and again, don't worry, this is not done here, and like I just figured out, this is all missing. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but from this side, there's like metal runes, and then on the other side... Oh... Frame rate, death, okay. Yeah, well... I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to tell you, but take my word for it, there's something missing there. So, I filled in a lot of the junk down there, and I sort of achieved my f desired effect of having the ground be so far down that you can't quite tell how far down it is. I added all kinds of cliff edges, and there's a few secret paths now all around this. I did a bit of tweaking down here. And there's still a lot more to be done. I'm not really happy with the way this ground area is turning out. You'll see the cliffs go all the way around. And there's some new stuff here that wasn't here last time. And now there's a path that follows right along that way. So let's go have a look at that real quick. I have to say a big part of getting better at this editor, or at least learning sort of its intricacies, is memorizing what exactly each tile is. Or, or I shouldn't say each tile, but each like polygon set. There's like, there's parts, and everything is pretty much modular, like these shelf-type things here. These have a specific item name in the list, and if you're able to quickly remember what exactly that's called, it makes it a lot easier to edit. When I was playing around with the lighting, uh, I actually tried making it basically pitch black. So I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls, and uh, I thought it kind of reminded me of the lighting configuration of Tomb of the Giants, like this just deadly fog of blackness, like light doesn't even hardly travel in it. And I thought that'd be kind of a cool thing. Uh, they mentioned uh, in the Skyrim patch thing that they want to eventually make dungeons that are mostly dark, forcing you to use torches and light spells and stuff, and this is where it ends right now. You see the blinding light of the sky as the HDR takes over. And then you gotta adjust a little bit again <laughs> to turn around. So there's not a ton still, but a lot more than yesterday. Oh, and there goes my torch. Is that a problem here? I spend a lot of time just like looking through all the edges, looking for holes and stuff. It's a little annoying, but it could be a lot worse. So yeah, again, my plan is to make this tunnel uh, wrap down and around, and eventually it's going to come out somewhere down here, and then there'll be more shelves and things, and you'll be able to kind of zigzag in and out of uh, behind the walls and up front. And then eventually make your way down, and there'll probably be... I don't know if I'm going to do it at the very bottom of the pit, or maybe I'll have another adjacent large area, which there should be like some sort of a boss battle. And I would like it if there was a key that let you in there, and maybe I'll hide the key somewhere. Oh, and of course there's going to be a, an NPC interaction and a key to even get in this dungeon. But again, still details I haven't quite finalized, uh, and I'm really looking forward to setting up the lighting properly. Uh, it's going to look really pretty when there's all these tunnels and stuff zigzagging in and out, and you'll see the little torches lit up. Uh, and I'm going to definitely drop this lighting of the overall ambience down quite a bit, because this is very bright. 
and still toying around with the idea of making it just really, really dark. But at least for uh, purposes of making YouTube videos, it's going to have to be a little bit brighter, because I just don't find it to be fun to watch it when you can't see anything. <laughs> I'm sure you probably feel the same way. So, I've probably rambled on long enough. Uh, hopefully this is a enjoyable look at my dungeon. Also looking forward to figuring out how NPCs work. That will be another factor, and that'll come after I've done most of the layout here. I don't really see a point in getting too far into that until I really know exactly what I want. Uh, and right now a lot of that's still up in the air. And I'll have to come up with some sort of a special item or something for coming and doing my dungeon. I want it to be really long too, I want this thing to take like 45 minutes, so it's going to be pretty serious how many tunnels I make in and out of everything. I wonder why you can see that, it might just be the view distance is so long. Because the tunnel curves down, so you shouldn't be able to see the sky through that. I might have to do something, maybe put a door in the way or something to block it. Because that's kind of ugly. Who knows. But, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I might do this again tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, leave me lots of comments if you can. I like uh, hearing back from you, see uh, what you think about what I've done so far. And any uh, you know tips, tricks, direction... Anything you'd like me to think about, I'd be happy to address. So thanks again. Later.